I have popcorn. Oh, but you have popcorn. We'll dive back in here, give you the usual rundown of notices. Join us in the Discord if you haven't. There's YouTube. If you want to catch up on our playthroughs and whatnot. Check out the tea blends we put together with our friends over at Adagio. Proceeds benefiting the Trevor Project. Check out my wife's super cool Etsy. Lots of bone jewelry and 3D printed accessories. And if you want to support the stream, a little bit extra. Feel free to check out the throne wish list. All right. So, hmm. I assume restocking would probably be the best thing we could do. No, 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 no. give it a whirl. Hell yeah. Oh, I'm just going to make more money now. That doesn't help me. Hell yeah. Fried food diet. Let's go. Who's hungry? Me. Me. That works for me. I love food. I am happy when I'm in the kitchen and cooking. All right. Yeah, you want some popcorn. <laughs> oh, fuck. I forgot to buy more rocket launchers. Oh, well. Hold up there. Who's this guy again? Tendo. One of the Omi lieutenants. Yeah. I think Fucking I recognize Fucking Tendo. Him. From where? What you mumbling to yourself about? Spit it out. While you're at it, why are you here and how'd you even get in? Tendo, let him through. He's my guest. Your guest, huh? But acting captain, isn't he? Exactly right. The man who took a bullet from my gun straight on. And now here he is, back from hell itself to see the captain release from prison. Yeah? That is real commitment. Well... If he causes any trouble, any at all, it'll be on you to clean up the mess. Agreed? It'll be fine. All right. I'll go back to trying to figure out what the hell is going down here today. Nothing to figure out except the popcorn. So you can watch the shit turn the Omi Alliance on its head. You think? 
Remember what you did in Eugene Cho. Now it's your turn. Hmm. I just realized who he is. He used to be a star heavyweight boxer. Fuck. He's the loony who agreed to fix a fight for money, but when he didn't get paid, he beat the fixers to death. Oh, yeah. I remember that, too. <laughs> what a role model, huh? Oh, great. Kendo is Froob's favorite character. <laughs> Captain, welcome home, sir. Let me see if his voice actor's on Cami. I, I should get you a Christmas gift, Rube. <laughs> Here's the plan. The Omi Alliance was more or less split in half when they marched on Kamurocho. But most of the officers, the ones with tenure anyway, are still here in Sotenbori. Soon, they'll all be gathering in the HQ's banquet hall, celebrating Watase's release. But by then, Watase will already have a document in his breast pocket. The Omi Alliance of Kansai started off as the idea of a few ambitious men more than 100 years ago. In the early days, we were fierce, ready to go to war at any moment. Although we only fought against other factions, we know these wars took a heavy toll on the people here in the city we call home. For that, we are deeply sorry. <laughs> Therefore, on this day, the presiding chairman does declare, and I, Captain Watase, do co-sign this official document which proclaims the Omi Alliance of Kansai is hereby dissolved. Huh? What the fuck? This we pledge to the Osaka PD. What? Why are you doing this, Captain? What are you thinking? I'm Daigo Dojima, sixth chairman of the Tojo clan. Tojo clan? The fuck's he doing here? As the Omi Alliance does, so shall we. The Tojo clan is also officially dissolved. Otase-san and I will serve as each other's witnesses as we each end our factions together. This decision was ratified by the Omi Chairman, Captain Watase, and Acting Captain Masumi Arakawa. Bullshit! What kind of shady crap is this? I uh, Fucking they not do it anymore if they don't want to. Did Mitsu tell you that, Ichiban? Oh. Mm-hmm. Remember now? <laughs> yeah, but uh, I still didn't think the Tojo and Omi would just dissolve at the same time. I know. This is going to send shockwaves through our world, and many will oppose it. Doubtless, someone will try to start a war of succession. But we anticipated that, and built many defenses against it. Defenses? Like? What did you have to do? The sixth chairman planned every last detail. Watase was involved too. He felt the same sorrow as I did about the future of Yakuza life. When we were finally forced to conclude that this is where it will all end. The mm. problem was how do we end the largest Yakuza group in Japan peacefully? We knew that if we simply broke the news to the officers, there would have been mutiny. To make matters worse, what Tasuke Makes sense. I mean, this is bars by way of the three <laughs> similar to what and happened in out of sight the 90s in mind. Japan. One wrong move could have started a coup. Right. 
Then we had the idea to use the Kamuro Cho 3K plan in our favor. How'd you do that? We came up with two steps to implement. First, ensure the 3K plan succeeded. What the hell? To achieve that, we purposely let Arakawa-san leak the Tojo clan intel. And then Aoki drove the Tojo clan out of Kamurocho just as we knew we would. He had hmm. no idea, of course, that this was our desired outcome. <laughs> Amusing to think that he still considers it his greatest achievement. In reality, the 3K plan only worked because we allowed it to. Apparently. After that, the sixth chairman made his second request of me. I was to keep playing the role of the greedy traitor, dancing on the Tojo clan's grave. All while bringing the Omi into Kamurocho to take the Tojo clan's place. Arakawa-san's admirable efforts split the Sotenbori Omi horde right down the middle. Which leads us to Sotenbori as you see it now. Half its men stuck in Tokyo. Weakened. Spread too thin. And this was Arakawa-san's goal all along? This exact situation? Yes. And he finished it right on schedule. Watase's day of release huh. is here. Interesting. We can make our announcement. Fuck you, Watase! You're a goddamn traitor! Yeah! My, my run's on Monday. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I made sure this would be nice and sharp for today. Oh, Jesus. I test it out. Any volunteers? Damn, seeing these Tojo clan legends fighting is fucking crazy. Yeah, very impressive. Namba's like just a dude. Officers, huh? There are still this many, even with half of them in Kamurocho. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you sound excited. I'm not excited. We're gonna march <laughs> this declaration down to a soccer PD. I know most of you are none too happy about it. So listen up. If you consider yourself real yakuza, then you have to stop me by force. Good shit. I'm starting to see the big picture, Arakawa-han. Tendo, this kind of brawl, most of us never live to see one like it. So if we're gonna make history here, you bet your ass I'm gonna take a stand with the side having the most fun. Oh. You twisting the knife on us, Tendo? <laughs> I'd much rather fight with you than against you. I'd say we're still looking pretty outnumbered here. That's the whole reason they called us, man. Find the <laughs> time to step out of the shadows, huh? Look at us. Majima is the definition of... Just to get that point across. I can't help him, but he can sure make me worse. <laughs> Make it one to remember. All right. I'm not big on bullying, but right. I'll show you. Take your best Okay. Watch this. Ah, uh, it's not who I wanted, but actually, this might work. Let's go! 
Damn, that dude hits hard. find him who him <laughs> i don't know what you're talking about he's just some extra muscle some bodyguard i hired couldn't even tell you his name leave this part to me you guys worry about the front line i'll protect the back even if it costs me my life <laughs> <laughs> i don't know who you are you sure know how to make an entrance He's the man who erased his own feet. All right. Time for seconds. This feast ain't over till it's over. <sighs> That was a quick fight. <laughs> and they really, they really make you wait until the end of the game for them, huh? Nice. We did it. Good luck out there, Kasuga. You're gonna do great. Hey, Ichi. Arakawa-san. Sorry for not standing up. <laughs> my body's not following my orders right now. Stop trying. You deserve to relax for once. I owe you so much. If you hadn't shown up with all your allies, things might have gone sideways. No, I didn't do anything. It was all my friends doing. <laughs> well, then you have some very good friends. A rare thing. I bet it will be. Kawasan. I'm very impressed and... So happy you survived all this, Ichi. <laughs> Our 
goes up. Okay, but what are we gonna do for like a living now, though? Oh wait, never mind. We can run Ichiban Holdings. True. Wait, wait, hold on. Does this mean you were hiding the six chairmen this whole time? Yes, that's what I've been telling you. Do you see now? Actually, I'm pretty damn confused. <laughs> well, when you have more money than you know what to do with, social connections come naturally. Even unique connections like six chairman Daigoku. Wait, is that? We met under strictly um, circumstances. That's course. the fucking business guy. Help after the Kamurocho 3K plan got underway. Did you hide Majima-san and Saijima-san too? Oh, yeah. Why do I want to say Peter? His, he looks like he'd be a Peter. Formidable reputations. They were perfect gentlemen. No, Nick. I spoke with them. I never thought that you, of all people, would end up rescuing them. Life is so random at times. Well, I wouldn't say I rescued them. I just lent them a little muscle, that's all. Of course, then I got lost in the fun of the fight. <laughs> the fight of a lifetime. You are a Kawa fan, you. Well, you really love him, huh? <laughs> With all my soul. And we're meeting up later today. You call it a date, I guess. Oh, how romantic. Well, you'll have to dish about it later. Sure thing. Clear your schedule. I can talk about him for days. I'm sorry to bail on you, Ichi. I know we made our plans first, but... I've known Chairman Hoshino 40 years now. It'd be impolite to turn him down. Well, I get it, boss. Totally get it. When there's a shot at Peking Duck and Hay on Tower, you take it. Well, it's kind of silly of me to invite you to a meal in the first place. I know that. Heh. <laughs> Kasuga. I'm not a boss anymore. Just a regular old man. I'm a civilian. I don't give a damn who I eat with. <laughs> well, is Sotenbori all quiet now with the Omi Alliance dissolved? People don't know how to react. Not the civilians, and certainly not the Yakuza. The former Yakuza. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess it's only natural when a hundred year old institution just disappears. Any Omi guys rioting or anything? No, even if they did, it wouldn't change anything. Even when they had real strength, they didn't manage to stop us from submitting the papers. And they've only waned since then. Hate to say it, but their reputation's in the toilet. We don't need to dunk their faces in the bowl, too. We'll just let it be. Yeah, we charge extra really for that. It would all happen this way. No, we just did the best we could, and this is how the chips fell. I can't tell the future any more than the next man. Well, you had me fooled. Really seemed like you saw it all coming. <laughs> I'm sure Masato's in a rage right now. <laughs> he must be losing his mind. <clears throat> all his plans hinged on the Omi's support. And I just pulled the rug out from under him. <laughs> right. I never could help myself from giving in to his desires if he threw a fit. <laughs> it's been true since he was a toddler. <laughs> I'd always hoped he'd grow out of temper tantrums. <laughs> Some things between a father and son never change. But I can't afford to go easy on him anymore. No? He isn't aware that well before he was governor, the six chairman and Watase were considering dissolution. By the time he pressured me to sell out the Tojo clan, 
All that did was accelerate their plan. <sighs> now Masato knows what growing power tastes like. If I don't stop him before he grows too large for his throat, he'll choke on it. He'll lose everything. Everything he's <laughs> built. I... I just don't want to see that happen. <clears throat> I guess. Well... <clears throat> I should get going. Boss. Yeah. Hmm? Earlier, you said you don't have a title anymore. So, what's your plan from here on out? What are you gonna do? The six chairman and Watase knew that once their factions were gone, many of their men would lose their way with no Yakuza path to follow. That's happening now. So, they want to find some legal means to take in these wandering souls who have nowhere else to go. I'd like to help them with that task. I see. Guess you do have total freedom to do whatever now, huh? Yes. <laughs> and the only thing I'm wondering is how am I going to kill the time? I think this is how every businessman must feel when he retires. <laughs> well, that being the case, can I go back to being in the Arakawa family? Sure. Ichi, are you? It's just... When I was working in your family, it was the happiest time of my life. I felt that way ever since you rescued me at 16. I mean it. But how can you still, after I sent you to prison in Masato's place, for 18 years, after lying to you that it was for the family? Well, I accepted that when I went. And then... After all that you did, <clears throat> I shot you. You only did that to give me a chance to keep living. No. All the chances you needed were inside you. Your own strength kept you alive. The truth <laughs> is... I've never had uh, thanks, you Trad. Not even once. You should hate me for all the things I've done. Why don't you? Fine. If you really want to beat yourself up about it, then please let me back in the family with you. There is no family. Yakuza doesn't exist. Hey, Ichi. You were born at a soap land called Shangri-La, weren't you? Yeah. So I've been told. It's a hell of a story. One that's never sat well with me. I dream about it, you know. You dream about it? Yeah. I dream that it's 40 years ago. On that cold New Year's Eve night. Akan is there. And she's about to give birth to her baby. Wait, what? She gives birth in Shangri-La. In the dream, it's Masato who ends up being born in that soap land. Oh, come on. This is embarrassing. Nothing to be embarrassed about. You've got a good heart and you're doing the best you can. It doesn't matter where you were born. 
Thank you, sir. I'm curious. Did you ever want to find your parents? Uh, good question. I don't really know. Mm. At this point, I've gotten pretty used to not knowing them. You've gone through a lot. Not that I have any right to speak to you about it. This is absurdly touching for a Yakuza well, game. No point in dwelling on a dream. That's all it is, right? I can go the rest of the way from here. See you tomorrow, Ichi. Yeah. This one's been pretty big, though. The shot's lingering a little bit too long. I was starting to get nervous. <laughs> Hello. Yo, this is Ichiban Kasuga. I like messages, so leave me one. This is Hoshino of the Serio clan. Kasuga, you need to call me as soon as you get this. Oh, fuck. This morning, they found Arakawa's body in the ocean. Damn it. Well, shit. That's shitty. After he had dinner with my patriarch last night, Masumi Arakawa left Heian Tower alone. So he must have been shot on his way home. Any idea who did it? I put my money on an Omi loyalist. Pretty sure I'd win that bet, too. Hell, there were shootings in Sotenbori, too. Attempts on Captain Watase and Daigo Dojima. Are they okay? Yeah. Apparently, they had some ex-Tojo legends with them. Can't ask for better bodyguards than that. Huh. No kidding. And yeah, that does point to Omi retaliation. Uh-huh. You and your pals should be careful, since you were on the Dissolution's front lines. The remnants will have a bone to pick with you. Yeah, that's for sure. I'll pass on the advice. Can't believe this shit anymore. The Omi wiped off the face of the earth, all because of the stupid Arakawa family. Idiots blew up their own inheritance. Their betrayal cannot stand, Sawashiro san. <clears throat> Remember how we used to be sister families with the Tojo clan? We had bases in Kanto and everything. Of course, the only reason we helped Arakawa-san push the Tojo clan out of Kamurocho in the first damn place was so our family would survive too. Because we're sick and tired of the Tojo demanding tribute money just to let us keep land we'd already been living on for years. If that had kept up, we would have been crushed, just like any other family without their own territory in Tokyo. That's why we worked with Arakawa in spite of it being disloyal to the Tojo.
Exactly. And who's going to keep any of the promises Arakawa made? He promised once he was at the top of the Omi Alliance. He would promote us to the main family. Are we just supposed to accept that won't happen now? Yeah, suck shit. Listen, you whiners, quit your belly aching. I won't let the Omi Alliance die. We'll just give it a new name. My Kanto Senpai. I know we've caused a real shit show for you. But I promise we'll pay you back in full someday. And for now, all of us are asking your forgiveness. And that dude's face looked like it caught on fire and someone tried to put it out with a pair of fucking golf spikes. It's a fucking bomb. Damn. Well, just so you know, it's not like we're asking to cut ties to the Arakawa family. Oh, wow, your tone We'd changed like to real quick. We'd friendly, if that's possible. <clears throat> of course. After all, it was Arakawa who was the brains behind the betrayal. And now that he's gone, I'd say the score is settled. If you need us, our door is wide open for you. Second patriarch of the Arakawa family. Thank you for your understanding. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh huh. think the score's settled? You backwater scumbags don't deserve to be called Yakuza. Excuse me? You won't repeat that? <sighs> Sawashiro, you fuck. I can get the Arakawa family back on its feet without you. Easily, in fact. All I have to do is unite the Omi already here in the East. You're way out of line. Arakawa fucked up. His captain should be on his knees right now. Stop! What are you doing? You know, guys like you are all bark and no balls when it's wartime. That's the kind of Yakuza I can't fucking stand. Only a few years ago, you were sucking up to the Tojo clan. Then Arakawa changed his colors, and there you were at his feet. Now he's dead, and you think you can pull the senpai card on me? I mean, he's proving his point. The Yakuza way to lead is with bloodshed. The weak always fall in line behind the strong. Help me! Oh, time to accept it. Among the men in this room, you represent the weak, and that goes for all of you. Gross. <clears throat> I fully intend to start a new chapter for the Yakuza as the Tokyo Omi Alliance. I hope we can count on your support, Senpai. Jesus. What makes you think you have any right to pull that shit? You haven't known me very long, but I think I've made a pretty strong case here for what I'm capable of. <laughs> convince me I'm not the type of Yakuza who's gonna sit on his hands after his patriarch got removed what's your point right now I don't know if it was you or some other Kansai punk but I will gut the man who killed him you have my word on that there will be no mercy the fuck are you saying Every thug out there on the street knows that you killed your boss under Hauke's orders. Uh-huh. You think picking a fight with me is your ticket to the big time? You see yourself as the guy on top at the dawn of a new age for the Yakuza. That ain't gonna fly. Sure. I'll give you until I've rounded up all the stragglers in Tokyo to make your move. Until then, keep sucking on the Omi's dried up teats.
Well, well, well. Oh, young Ichiban. Sorry I'm late. You guys always go this hard on kids? Where's this brat of mine you say you've got? Arakawa-san. The little fuck damn near took our guy out. We can't just hand him back to you without some compensation. Somebody's got to take responsibility. I see. Well, how about a finger? I'll trade you my finger for him. Sound fair? I'll just borrow this. <sighs> All right, then. Let's go, you little shit. Gonna answer that. I think that's your phone. <laughs> this is Hoshino. Chairman. You okay? Yeah, I guess. You don't sound okay. Oh, thanks, well. Chairman Hoshino. Uh, no. Then start. A poor diet won't help with the grief. Yo, time for Peking Duck. Let's go. Power. What for? That's the last place I saw Arakawa-san. I'll treat you to what he ate as his final meal. Uh, thanks, but right now I just be there. Fine. I'll be waiting. Chairman Hoshino wants to meet. Hey, Bubba, remember that duck that fucking uh, yeah, <clears throat> Marcus Nielsen Tower? Are you going? Just <laughs> yeah. That should sound good. Maybe he'll tell me about Arakawa-san's last moments. All this talk of Peking duck made made me think about that. <laughs> Hang it from the fucking ceiling and just have to spin it as you walk by. Maybe some karaoke will cheer Ichiban up. Take a short jog over there. Typical headed towards endgame Yakuza. Enemies just everywhere.
This could get rough. <clears throat> I've got it. I'm not big on bullying, but I got this. I'll show you. That's not what I want. Let's go. Let's go. It's go time. Take a shot. Weak. Okay. No, what up, MPT? What are you still doing? I am secret Just from work stuff or other stuff. I fucking get that. That shit sucks. I wonder how many more status ailments I can give this dude. <laughs> My sleep schedule and like staying awake schedule have been much better as of late. But... We we got past it thankfully. I um I did a bunch of offline grinding. With I put like goodness. four four ish hours into it. Oh. Made it through first try. You've missed some wild shit. Need I say. Yeah. <laughs> It'll all be up on the YouTube, though. Man, I love how Doc Colby's sweet and spicy. Yup. Goes good with the rice and the drinks. Mm hmm. Yeah, I thought for some reason I thought there were only 12 chapters. Apparently there's 15. So, I think we're still in. I mean, are we, I think we might be in 13 now. Not the animal itself. Huh? Does that mean Colby's not always beef? Correct, Kasuga. That's what I'm saying. Now let me test your knowledge a bit further. What cut of meat is Kalbi anyway? Nope, not Damn. it. Thigh meat is pretty cheap and common, though. Kalbi refers to rib meat. <sighs> Fuck, I should have said it's chicken. So duck Kalbi would directly translate to something like chicken ribs. Chicken breast. Well, that sounds even tastier. I learned something new today. Oh, the fuck? Hmm. Well, 
Yeah, that's the only, that's like the only stat I don't need though. But yeah, we, uh, we, we, we definitely cleared the tower a few times. We made it back to the headquarters. We did all that. I don't want to. I don't want to ruin it if you're planning on catching me. If not, I can kill you. In. What do you usually do on your days off, Adachi san? Well, I'm actually pretty fond of gardening. Yeah, I've got a little planter on the porch. Uh, I give it water and fertilizer. Do my best to take care of it. Snack time's the best. Ah, okay, cool. You love the snacks yourself. Huh, that does sound nice. Is that really fun, though? Uh-huh. Would it be faster to just buy them instead of messing around with all that fertilizer and shit? Sounds like it's more trouble than it's worth, if you ask me. Harvesting things you grew yourself is special. Right, Adachi-san? You know, shopping for the ingredients probably is faster. What have I been doing with my life? Adachi-san, <laughs> don't let this idiot get to you. Keep taking care of your garden. Speaking of, what's your hobby, Zhao? Me? Bonsai. You little... <laughs> what a bunch of little shitheads. Yeah, no, I was... I was kind of expecting some of the plot twists. Definitely didn't expect some of the other ones. Actually, no. Uh, I would have to look. Prompto's voice actor was uh, Robbie Draymond. really good people. I want you to know, last night, Arakawa seemed at peace. This food looks so good. Stepping off stage to thunderous mm -hmm. applause. Max Middleman is literally in everything. Same thing with Reiji. He dissolved the Omi, and he got to see you again. He certainly looked like he was enjoying his Peking duck. I commented on it, actually. <laughs> Can you believe this? He said he'd never had yep. it before. Well, you mean Yowie Lowenthal? He said he almost got to mm -hmm. try it 50 years ago, but then his father was killed. And he'd never gotten around to ordering it again. <gasps> After we finished, I said I'd walk him to his hotel, but he refused the offer. Said he wanted time alone to just take in the night air. I didn't push it. I just bid him a good evening and left. But if I had pushed it, he'd probably be alive right now. I failed him. No, it's not your fault. Let me ask you something. 
Do you think it was only loyalists? Yes. No doubt in my mind. It was revenge for his role in dissolving the Omi. Men who saw fit really? to end someone's How life was it? over such a thing. How could Yakuza do that? Kill a captain like him? Kasuga. The Omi loyalists in Kanto are already attempting to form a new faction. They complain the loudest about the dissolution. I imagine one of them is the likely culprit. Forming a new faction? After killing Arakawa's son? Yes. Care to hazard a guess as to who is directing them? Because I think it's Hell the one yeah. man who could actually bring them to heel. Rio Aoki. No. A young master? Ordering the death of his own father? He wouldn't be the first to commit patricide for power. Probably not. The one silver lining is, with Arakawa gone, there's very few men Aoki can give direct orders to. Huh. Kasuga, you should take revenge for Arakawa. I can lend you men from the Seiryu clan. I don't need guns. You won't seek vengeance? Nah, I just don't need a gun. Arakawa-san wouldn't want me to kill the young master. I'm sure of that. Then, what will you do? Before he died, Arakawa talked about how sad it was the Yakuza were getting used. Used like pawns by people in power. That's why he disbanded the Omi. I think he wanted the Yakuza to go back to their roots. Like how they ought to use their power to help the weak and vulnerable, not just take shit by force. That's how it was. That's how it could be again. Arakawa-san had a dream, and I can continue it. If all I do is kill one guy, especially if it's his son, all of Arakawa's sacrifices will be for nothing. If that's the only thing I do to honor him, I won't be able to face him in the afterlife. <sighs> What I really want to do is open the young master's eyes. Give him a wake-up call. Smack him upside the head if I have to. That's the best thing I could do. Kasuga, Arakawa was truly blessed to have you. Do what you think is right. I'm sorry if my idea of payback offended you in any way. Yeah, I'm right. Sure it's a little bit overdone. Sure. How do you plan on getting an audience with Aoki? You can't just walk into the Tokyo government office and ask to see the governor. Oh, but maybe <laughs> we can. Good. I think I've got something figured out. You could pull a plan out of your ass just like that, huh? Yeah. Still, <laughs> what plan? Going anywhere near Aoki will mean tight security. Take some of my men. At the very least, I'll bring your body back. I appreciate the offer, really, but I'll be fine by myself. I've already got the best crew I could ask for. Oh, jeez. You waited for me? How'd it go? Fine. I'm okay. sorry to run off and get treated to a fancy meal without you guys. Well, looks like it put some pep back in you. Yeah, I figure if I keep moping around, Arakawa-san's gonna come down and kick my ass. But anyway, how about we go visit Kume? Visit Kume? Why? To make him a right? random meeting. I want to meet with Aoki, and Kume's got the hookup, seeing as he's Ogasawara's replacement. Sure, but why do you... I'm going to get him to start thinking and doing things like Arakawa-san would have wanted. Uh, 
That sounds like a long shot. What makes you think Kume will cooperate with you? I oh, will beat his ass. Oh, did I leave out the part where we rough him up? I mean, the guy deserves it. <laughs> uh, yeah, he does. I'm in. Get out the bloodhounds and let's start the search. No search required. Today is announcement day. What's that? The deadline for every candidate to submit their paperwork. The political brawl has begun. Man, do you know everything? Yes. The fate of the Great Wall hangs on this election. Why wouldn't I be following it closely? <laughs> do you know where Kume would be on announcement day? Well, each candidate will give their first speech in their district, usually on a huge stage. Kume's district, Kanagawa's second, has a massive stage by the gate on Isazaki Road. Let's head over to Isazaki Road then. God, he's so dumb, but I can't help but love him. <laughs> oh shit, we got a side quest first. <laughs> The one I actually wanted to check back in on, too. <laughs> this is why we need soap lands to create more Ichibans. Simon looks all right. I wonder how Kanako-chan is doing. I hope her surgery went okay. Kasuga-san. Huh? You're Kanako-chan's father. How's Kanako-chan doing? The surgery go all right? <sighs> huh? No, don't tell me. Uh, Kanako, come here. Hey! Kanako-chan. Wait, she's all better now? She is. She used to always stare out the window with such a hopeless look in her eyes. But these days, that look's been replaced with a smile. Her Yay. surgery was a great success, and she's even up on her feet again. No way! That's great! I mean, yeah, she's standing she there. She wanted to come say thank you. <laughs> to me? Thank you, Kasuga-san. You protected the persimmon for me. Nah, no need to say thanks. No, I had a lot of fun watching you. Fighting a sumo wrestler, getting shot by a toy gun, comforting that witch boy, and all to protect the persimmon. <clears throat> I couldn't help I haven't had a persimmon in and ages. And I really realized there's so much to see out there. Richard Persimmons. It gave me the hope to keep going. Oh, yeah? Guess it was all worth it then. There was also a part of me that wanted to skip the surgery just so I wouldn't miss out on the drama. <laughs> Hey, hey, good thing you didn't. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, it's nice to it's see It's been you. a very long time for me. I should also thank this tree. I'm still here, thanks to this persimmon. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. Well, what do you say we eat it? Huh? You want to eat it? You don't need it anymore, right? Besides, look how good it looks. You've wanted to eat it this whole time, haven't you? <laughs> you got me. <laughs> Hang on a sec. It's, oh, I was waiting for it to be oh, yeah. stuck to look, the tree. It's nice and ripe. You want dibs, Conical Chan? I'll have some after you. You should go first since you worked so hard to protect it. You sure? Okay then, here goes. <laughs> oh. Tastes like shit. Ugh. This is one of the bitter ones, huh? I thought so. You mean you knew? Come on, Kanoko chan. <laughs> 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 
Oh, hey, I get the sumo guy for pound mates. Yeah, what's up, Hoot Boot? All right, let's see if there's anything else I need to knock out really quick. I haven't finished the census counter. What's up, Orpha? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, I guess we should swing through Romance Workshop really quick. Yeah, happy Femboy Friday indeed. I'm doing pretty all right tonight. I did really, really well in my bingo match. Yeah, they're kind of similar to tomatoes, but like sweet. My passion is not that high. Yeah, third place. Um, we almost had, uh... We had two shots at, um, a PB tonight with 15, but unfortunately did not make it happen. Oh, shit, why don't I just do that? Just a finishing touch. Um, I was going against Nezu for, uh, like, the loser's bracket of the semifinals. I, uh, was just able to, able to pull off what I needed to pull off faster than, than he was able to. The other thing was I, I threw him off his game, like, immediately. I noticed, like, the the matches he had, if there was, like, a cave or grotto, <clears throat> he, would, he would always target that one first. So I stole it from him and then immediately just put him on the back foot and just kind of kept trucking. I was lucky because they were the the first two that I got were corner squares, like opposing corner, opposite, like hundred, like one eighty, top left and bottom right. So it just kind of put things really in my court, and then I just proceeded to close off any bingos and just started filling squares. Okay. It's good to see you, though, Wartha. What you got going on? Yeah, I definitely don't want to get sucked into a full story. Just don't know if there's any other side quest stuff. Hmm? Let's, uh, we'll roll over there and I think we'll call it a night. It's almost two o'clock. I've been streaming for a long time. I got a fairly long day tomorrow, too. Oh, nice. What's, uh, what's your graduation project?
and your cat dog. What the dog? Yeah, it, it was just an idea I had like right at the start. I was like, that he always opens with like, if it's there, he opens with it. So I decided that I was gonna take it. I almost, I almost choked it, to be honest. What's become of our once great nation? When did morality become the butt of the joke? That looks awkward to hold. I alone can deliver this country back into the hands of her upstanding citizenry. I am Sota Kume, and a vote for me is a vote for change. Oof. Well, hopefully you learned something along the way. After all, we've got three mics. Starting to agree with the guy. Come on, what he's saying is a load of crap. No matter how drunk everyone is on Bleach Japan Jungle Juice. That kind of drunk can mess you up as bad as my kind. In a tragic way, Kume is just another name on Aoki's long list of victims. <laughs> our enemies don't deserve our sympathy. Good point. Let's go. Oh, dude, that sucks. Hey, mind letting us through? Excuse us. Hey, you can't just barge in here. Fuck you, buddy. Oh, sorry, sir. Could you just let us? Wait. Don't I know you? Ooh. Huh. You tried to shoot me in a parking garage. Yeah. You were a bodyguard in the parking lot. He's not the only guy we've seen before. There's a bunch of Omi here. Well, look at that. You saved me the trouble of tracking you down. Time to pay for that shit you pulled in the parking lot. I'm gonna beat your ass twice now. Let's go. I got this. I am so get caught. now. Watch this. This hurts. Yeah, Unreal's pretty dope. Anyway, I kicked their ass real quick. Thought you could interfere, did you? Well, not today. I doubt this was the only speech Kume's giving today. Where's he going right now? His campaign stops and stuff are listed on his website. The more people, the better. But I can promise you ain't getting close to Kume. Oh, yeah? Will he not talk to regular people? Yeah, no. But don't worry, he's gonna win. Governor's orders. Uh-huh, oh, sure. Oh, has been blacklisted as threats. You better get ready for the takeover. Eat my ass. <laughs> hmm. Me boys than I could count are rolling on over here to Injincho. Whole place will be swarmed. You won't be able to take <laughs> a shit without us knowing. FF6 has tons Fuckers. of stuff to farm. Aoki's always one step ahead of us. <laughs> I certainly am. I realize there's no precedent for a governor to intervene in national politics. But there's never been a precedent any time we advanced as a society. What about your yeah, I'd say you say definitely test the national policy before assuming no place for schoolyard debates. <laughs> Are they implying local politics is some kind of playground? No, I don't think they're saying that. How about we take another look at the survey results? 80% of respondents said they support Governor Aoki assuming the role of party chair. The principal reason for their support 
was the success of the Kamrocho 3K plan. Do you have any comments about that, Aoki-san? I couldn't have achieved the amazing results of the 3K plan without the Tokyo Metropolitan Police. That was how cooperation between law enforcement and local government should look. What about the Yakuza still in Kamurocho after the Tojo clan's Yeah, collapse? the last dungeon can be a little bit that of a, a shit. delegation of Kansai Yakuza have filled the void. By Kansai Yakuza, do you mean the Omi Alliance? Because I recently Oof. heard that they are officially Fuck. dissolved. Yes, that is confirmed. But doesn't that in fact prove something else? Time Doesn't to fucking. We can reduce Yakuza activity without nah, what the hell is that? Like the Kamurocho 3K plan. <clears throat> it's I know there's a risk. delivery service. Not compared I don't to know the if risk Instacart does it, Yakuza but there's like free. one that. I'm sure you've also heard of Masumi Arakawa, an officer who spearheaded the dissolution, was murdered. Postmates? So you see, it may seem like this was a peaceful process, but I think it was anything but. As always, the underworld keeps hidden its dark, unseemly truth. On the other hand, the Kamrucho 3K plan didn't involve any murder at all. My plan was the perfect example of a peaceful process, mm -hmm. accomplished with my expertise from Bleach Japan. Or at Speaking least get which, it there for you. The uh, Citizens Liberal tomorrow Party morning. is endorsing quite a number of Bleach Japan candidates this cycle. As party chair, what are your priorities? I want to rejuvenate the Citizens Liberal Party. The Listen, Bleach stoners Japan need food delivered young, too. Brimming with energy. By harnessing that energy, I know we can bleach all the gray zones in this entire nation. This dude's lame. This bastard's using Arakawa's death to win an election, after all but pulling the trigger himself. It's disgusting. Just when I thought I couldn't hate politicians anymore, he gives me a reason. Guys, remember the mission. Kume's going to give another speech somewhere, so what do we do? Chase him down. Well, judging by how it went down here, we won't be able to lay a finger on him. Sounds like you're in a tight spot. Hey! Chairman Hoshino. Chairman? Oh yeah, fuck, you were supposed so, to be looking for someone to get elected. the best path to Aoki was just to scare the shit out of Kume? <laughs> <laughs> Guilty as charged. But they're always one step ahead of us. Anyway, what are you doing here? Yeah, we gave you three million yen. I forgot to give you something back at Heian Tower. Okay. Is it my three million yen? Is it a gubernatorial candidate? Can't think of what that be. What is it? Kazuga, did you already forget the task? Yes, I was right. The task I... Oh, yeah. No, you didn't find oh, anyone finding a candidate yes remember the whole point of collecting all that money to make kume lose yeah did you find someone someone who can win well i searched far and wide is it me and you didn't find anyone but then all of a sudden it hit me yeah lay it on me kasuga yes <laughs> what <laughs> God, I wish I'd thought of it earlier. Wait just a second, back it up. Why the hell should it be me? I don't have a snowball's chance in hell of winning this. Are you sure True. about that? I doubt you'd even get enough votes to qualify for the return of your registration deposit. So why would you want to flush three million down the drain? Now well, the money doesn't matter. It does to me. Three million yen is a deal if it gives us a chance to catch Kume. I'm not really following, Chairman. In every election, the candidates drive around in their trucks giving speeches. The district's not that big, so they frequently run into each other. And when they do, it's customary for them to wish each other luck and shake hands. Yes! It's a farce, of course, but it's custom. That's your chance to get close to him. So if I run in the election, I can walk right up to Kume. Compared to Kume, you'd be a nobody, what they call a fringe candidate. Since Kume's victory is assured, he'll be expected to be a good sport. That includes not turning you down for a handshake if you ask for one. He can't just say no? If he did, everyone would say he acted like an arrogant jerk to the underdog. Bad press spreads quickly. 
Mm -hmm. Public opinion changes with the wind. You see how perfect it is? This is how you corner Kume. See, your original plan was to make Kume lose. But now the plan is just to use him as a stepping stone, correct? Correct. Uh, aren't you guys forgetting something? Ichiban did hard time for murder. It doesn't matter what's on your record. Once you've served your term, you can run. What do you say, Kasuga? Hell yeah, let's do it. I hope this is a mini game. I wish I could tell you to take your time and think it over, but time is a luxury you don't have. The deadline to announce your candidacy is today. You have to decide right now. Then I'll do it. Seriously? Just because it's legal doesn't mean it's sane. But <laughs> then hurry to the election office and get your paperwork done. Ah, oh, God, I wish. Especially they close pretty early. Wait, what time is it? Holy shit, guys, we gotta hurry. Let's run. Where's the election office anyway? <laughs> In the Nishihama building on Carriage Highway. Thanks. <laughs> you know, while we're here, we should check out Dragon Cart. I know I'm supposed to register for office, but like, there's bugs to catch. Oh, that shield is so good. Yeah, go get yourself some rest, homie. We're going to be wrapping this up pretty shortly here, too. There's no dragon cart. The fuck? All right. Well, I guess I'll get us over there, and then we'll save outside of it, and we'll call it a night. Hell yeah, Namba. Namba's fucking cooking, bro. we have it. Who you think's bringing the sunshine down every day? You know, Ichiban being the sun guy is actually kind of fitting. Hey, no praise required. I'll keep doing it. Uh, it wasn't praise. <laughs> Whatever the case, great weather certainly does brighten one's mood, doesn't it? Wow, guys have it so easy, don't they? I'm out here worrying about getting too much sun and what it's doing to my skin. Yeah, seriously. Think about all the stuff us girls have to deal with. You're acting like it's my fault. Ooh. That's some good shit. Ooh, so close.
Damn, everyone wanna have a party, I guess. Call it right here. Uh, a damn good stream. Damn good night. Um, but yeah, I got a long day tomorrow. I gotta get up. I gotta get gas. I'm gonna be grocery shopping, lunch with a friend. Um, but yeah, super thanks for joining us and swinging by, everybody. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for the resubs and the bit taroos. Yeah, you should get some sleep, young man. <laughs> yeah, that was that was good. Like that. Just speedrun wise, it was solid. Bingo wise, it was solid. We chunked out a huge chunk of this story too. I uh, honestly, I think offline grinding was definitely the way to go. <laughs> There's no way we would have beaten that fight without that much time. And honestly, four hours of sitting and doing fights is just not, it's just not good content. Like, honestly, like, yeah, could I make it entertaining? Sure, but, like, better things to do. All right, we will. Yeah. We'll give you the rundown. I got to take some time and get some stuff up to YouTube before I go to bed, bed. But if you haven't joined us in the Discord, feel free. It's a fun place to be. Hang out. Share pictures of your food. Oh, fuck, that's right. Chuckles put something in the food channel. Either way, it's a fun place to hang out. Would highly recommend. Tomorrow is Saturday night, which means we play games together. So feel free to be around for that. If you want to catch up on the previous playthrough, speedrun PBs, bingo matches, cooking streams, moto vlogs, DJ sets, it's all on YouTube. It's all there. Way easier to access than Twitch. Tea drinkers, check out our blends from our friends over at Adagio. Proceeds benefiting the Trevor Project. Check out the wife's Etsy. She makes really cool bone jewelry and some really cool 3D printed earrings. You can have Pac-Man or a coyote penis bone or both or all of it. And last but not least, if you want to support the stream a little bit extra, by all means, feel free to check out the throne wish list. But yeah, I appreciate all of y'all hanging around. As you can see, I have a very, very cranky doodle. I got a sleepy wife and sleepy cats who falling asleep on a container of salad dressing. Anyway, that's my life now. But either way, thank you so much for hanging. Y'all are terrific. Let's go find somebody to raid. Young ma'am. That is absolutely unnecessary. I am coming to feed you. Good lord. I'm honestly really glad we're really starting to get through Yakuza. Not that I'm impatient, but like it feels good to finally be like starting to catch up. Okay, let's see who we can visit tonight. Doodle enough of your bullshit.